guys how you doing finally got here uh couldn't set up this camera it's taking me forever okay so what i'm doing is i'm turning these humbuckers into dynasonic type single coil pickups uh you can see there that that's a uh, uh a, a fender standard wide range humbucker which the reissues they're not the same as the originals but very similar uh, and this twangs really nicely. I'll give you a demo a little later, but uh, I'll show you how I did it. Well, what I did is I bought these Alnico 2 vintage uh, rods, or, or they're Alnico 2s. I bought uh, 12 of them, uh, six for each pickup, and uh, well, let's get started. So uh, this is what you do, you can start with, I've done this one, I've just got a, a silicon, the backs of them, with a tiny little bit of silicon so that they don't move. Obviously they're not exactly like a Dynasonic because uh, I can't adjust the poles, so what I've done is I've adjusted them to where I think they're going to be fine, uh, and uh, they, they look pretty good to me, just a, just a really small radius uh, this starcaster uh, they're all uh, the reissues are all 9.5 the originals are 7.25 but uh, uh, I'm a rockabilly player and uh, I don't like the nastiness of these humbuckers clean they they're a little bit thin and um, nasally sounding so let's get to it I'll try and speed it up for you uh, first of all what you need to do is of course um, uh, unscrew uh, without damaging the guitar here, I don't want to. No, I'll put this one back actually, so that way uh, let's just loosen that string up a little more. All right, so let's take this one out. On this particular Starcaster, also, I'm going to add a uh, proper roller bridge, so I can give myself a proper Fender string spacing. That's uh, 54 mils. I like the vintage Fenders 56 mil. I'll put that on a bit later. But let's start converting this. Uh, so what we do is remove the pickup to start with. And this doesn't take very long, but I'm going to speed it up. Uh, make sure you don't lose these screws and keep this, these screws and these screws separate because these are slightly longer than these ones. So these Sarcasters are beautiful guitars just for clean playing, uh, for rockabilly anyway. They just, they don't seem to have that rockabilly feel. Rockabilly sound, I should say, not feel. The feels in the playing. Caster. So let's just pull this pickup out. That one doesn't seem to have a lot of... Okay, so uh, what I'll do is, before we go any further, I've marked out a cardboard piece that I'm going to take all these magnets out. It's important that you you keep these magnets in the right order uh, for, for if you ever want to put them back to stock because you can take these and, and put them back to stock if you want to uh, resell the guitar uh, so let's uh, take these out so high E so what you do is the magnet has to go in the right way too. So, what we do is they have to go this, the same pole polarity as what this one was. So what you'll do is you'll see that that will stick like that. So that's uh, a south and that's a north. So in other words, north is facing up. So if you come over on this side, the north will stick to the south because it's north, south, south, north. So we have to push the, that magnet in that way. Just gently prise it in. If, you, if it can fit, it should just fit straight in. There we go. Okay, make sure that you get them in the right way. It's very, very important. Otherwise, uh, you're going to be, you'll be out of phase, left, right, and center. It's very important that you get that part right. So I'll continue here and speed this up. Well, what I'll do is I'll flip it over now just to show you what we do on this side. So on this side, we have to remove these other magnets. If we don't remove these magnets, what we'll do is we'll be leaving the pickup uh, as a humbucker. We don't want that. We want to take these out. So that's your bottom E on the bridge. 
remember this is all reversible that's the beauty of doing this modification and boy it's a great modification I mean you're not going to get this information anywhere else you know uh, nobody's going to tell you this but I'm going to tell you so what we do is on the sheet notice I've written bosom E so we'll put that in there for future reference if, I've, if I ever want to return this pick up back to original okay so uh, right so I'll continue here Be careful not to break the leads as well. There are plenty of leads down here. What will happen is this coil here that I'm taking the magnets out of becomes a dummy coil. Okay, there's, you can probably cut them if you want to, uh, but I think at the end of the day, it's just better that you leave them as they are and leave it as a dummy coil. It will uh, cut out uh, any noise. It's like a, it will still be a hum, it will still hum cancel. You just won't get the second magnet pick up, that's all. So, uh, That's it. That pickup's done. Uh, except for taking out the bottom magnet. So let's do that now. Can you see the magnets poking out the bottom? That's the beauty of these uh, fender pickups: is that you can actually um, you can view the magnets from the bottom. Uh, there are other manufacturers that seal the bottom, and then you've got you've got to get the right size mag magnets for the top. Otherwise, the magnets will stick out the top of the pickup far too much. And you, and you don't want that because then they'll get in the way of the strings. All the magnets are out of that pickup, so basically that pickup's, pickup's done, but you can see it's a bit of a mess. Uh, what I learnt on this one, if you want to clean it up because that wax is pretty bad, push all the magnets in. Okay. And then you get a cloth, which I don't have at the moment, uh, and clean it all out. Uh, so you, you get the pickup nice and clean, and then you can uh, push the magnets back out. Of course, that one's popping out by itself at the moment. Um, to where you need them. Okay, there we go. Pop these ones out, and then you've got a beautiful Dynasonic pickup. So what I'll do is, now all I've got to do is with uh, a gun, not an actual gun, one of these guns, uh, a little bit of silicon, just put a little bit of silicon on the pole pieces at the magnet pole pieces at the bottom and if, you know fairly consistently on each pole piece so that way once the silicon dries they won't fall through the bottom because you don't want them to fall through the bottom while you're playing. Uh, obviously um, uh, you can put Loctite in them or something like that, but uh, this is going to be easier to remove later down the stage if you want to take it back to original. So uh, I'll just leave the video here, uh, clean all this up, put some of this on, I just and finished a uh, job on the silicon. You can just see the silicon there. Uh, so that pickup there is done. One of the magnets is a little bit stubborn, it kept popping up because of the um, polarity, polarity of it. So I've just got a piece of tape hanging it down, holding it down, I should say.